हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ अ डीजल फ्यूल इंजेक्टर वर्क्स एक्चुअली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ डीजल इंजन एंड आई विल टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ द जर्क टाइप पंप वर्क्स टू कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ डीजल इंजन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल ब्रीफ अबाउट दैट हाउ डीजल इंजन वर्क वी नो दिस थिंग दैट फॉर अ फोर स्ट्रोक डीजल इंजन द फर्स्ट स्ट्रोक इज द सक्शन स्ट्रोक द सेकेंड स्ट्रोक इज द कंप्रेशन स्ट्रोक एट द एंड ऑफ कंप्रेशन स्ट्रोक सम अमाउंट ऑफ डीजल इज इंजेक्टेड बाय द इंजेक्टर नोजल सो वट एपन्स दैट इन कंप्रेशन स्ट्रोक द एयर इज कंप्रेस टू वेरी हाई प्रेशर एडियाबेटिकली सो टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस सो वैन डीजल गोज इन साइड दैन इट बर्न्स इज साइड it adds heat to the system so by this way energy is developed so that energy pushes the piston so next stroke is the working stroke and then ultimately the exhaust stroke come comes now the question is that how the speed of <coughs> diesel engine is controlled see what happens that to control the speed of diesel engine the amount of diesel which is spread inside the combustion chamber is controlled for example suppose there is a 100 cc diesel engine okay now it takes 100 cc air inside now 100 cc air is compressed now at the end of compression suppose 100 cc air is capable to burn 1 gram of diesel okay means it uh, uh, 100 cc of air is sufficient to burn 1 gram of diesel now in case we are putting 1 gram of diesel entire diesel will would burn and it will add uh, heat energy corresponding to 1 gram of diesel okay now in case we put only half gram of diesel what will happen since 100 cc of air is sufficient to burn 1 gram of diesel so half gram of diesel would also burn but now the heat developed would be half so in case heat develop is halved therefore the amount of heat energy developed is half so it will develop lesser amount of energy over the piston so automatically the um, this speed of diesel engine would decrease so it is like this so actually to control the speed of diesel engine the amount of diesel which is spread inside after the compression stroke is controlled and that is controlled by fuel injector pump so this is the entire circuit diagram of the fuel supply system of diesel engine it the first entity is the fuel tank second entity is the fuel filter so what is the job of fuel filter so in case any dust or debris is there inside the diesel fuel then those are screened off by this fuel filter next is the fuel pump it takes the fuel from fuel filter and sends it to the fuel injector pump the basic difference between fuel pump and fuel injector pump is that fuel pump just sends the diesel just sends the liquid fuel to the fuel injector pump which a bit higher pressure compared to that of its inlet pressure means suppose it is uh, fuel is entering inside the fuel pump with one bar then it sends the fuel with a pressure which is bit higher compared to that of inlet pressure but fuel injector pump takes the fuel from the outlet of fuel pump and sends to the injector nozzle with very high pressure it could be 125 to 200 bars pressure okay so this is the basic difference between fuel injector pump and fuel pump so the basic requirement of fuel pump is that in case fuel tank is at higher level compared to that of level of fuel injector pump from ground then there is no need of as such fuel pump because what happens the action of gravity will force the fuel to automatically reach the fuel injector pump but in case the fuel tank level is almost uh, at the same level of fuel injector pump in that case some force is required some additional force is required to make the fuel to flow toward the fuel injector pump so this is the basic job of fuel pump and even in case fuel tank is at lower level then automatically it will not uh, the fuel will not reach the fuel injector pump so again it needs a fuel pump to make the fuel to flow toward the fuel injector pump second thing is that fuel filter itself is a resistance to flow okay so to make the fuel to flow through the fuel fil filter it needs some amount of force so that is what provided a fuel pump so basic difference is that fuel pump raises the pressure of fuel to some extent but fuel injector pump raises the fuel to many times 100 times more or even 200 times more it is like this because the required pressure to make the diesel to go inside the combustion chamber is very high now i will talk talk about particularly how fuel injector pump works and how the amount of diesel fuel is metered in fuel injector pump so these are the basic components of fuel injector pump it consists a barrel barrel is a very small cylinder the diameter could be 1 mm 2 mm or 5 mm like this so very small diameter barrel it is a sort of cylinder 
it is consisting of an inlet valve and an outlet valve and over the peripheral surface in the barrel there is a hole you can see it is called as spill hole it is drilled hole over the peripheral surface of barrel at a corresponding point and this is the plunger plunger is a sort of piston so this is a solid piston but it is having a groove cut over its peripheral surface you can see removal of material over here it is called as groove over the plunger okay now in case we fit this plunger inside this uh, barrel then it looks like this okay now once more that the inlet valve what happens the diesel fuel will enter inside the inlet valve opens and the fuel goes inside and once again this is a non return valve means fuel can go inside but cannot come outside similarly this is outlet valve uh, the job of this outlet valve is that when this plunger rises up then it pushes the fuel to pass through this outlet valve opening this outlet valve and push the fuel to go to the fuel injector nozzle so when this plunger goes toward downward side then it opens the inlet valve automatically and pulls the diesel engine inside and when it rises up then it closes the inlet valve and opens this outlet valve and makes the diesel to flow toward the fuel injector nozzle so uh, through the inlet valve the fuel comes from the fuel pump outlet side and uh, to from this outlet valve the fuel goes to the fuel injector nozzle it is like this and uh, going of fuel inside and coming outside is done by moving of this plunger up and down okay so you would have learned this is the barrel this is the plunger which is having a groove over it and this uh, uh, cylinder is having a spill hole over a corresponding point over its peripheral surface the job of inlet valve is when piston uh, this plunger goes downward side the inlet valve opens and diesel fuel goes inside and when the plunger goes upward side then this outlet valve opens and the fuel passes to the fuel injector nozzle it is like this what is the job of spill hole and this groove i am going to tell on the next slides okay now suppose <clears throat> the plunger is fitted in this uh, barrel and some diesel fuel is already there so what is happening that in case uh, diesel is filled inside then it will pass on to this groove also you can see this groove and this is the spill hole okay so in case piston is having no movement then no fuel will come out through this spill hole however it is a hole fuel sh should leak out but it is a sort of non return valve so fuel will only pass out through this spill hole in case the piston is having some movement with it especially it is moving toward top side it's like this okay now what happens that suppose this plunger moves toward downward side okay what will happen automatically this inlet valve will open and it will pull diesel inside okay now it is fully filled with diesel as well as this the span of spread of diesel is up to this groove also because it is a sort of material removal over the plunger so it is having some gap with it so diesel will fill inside this groove also now suppose this plunger rises up what will happen the outlet valve will open and the fuel will start going toward the fuel injector nozzle with very high pressure okay now with further rise what will happen see when this spill hole opening will match with this opening of this uh, groove what will happen the diesel will start squirting out from this spill hole itself because from this side from this outlet valve fuel has to pass with very high pressure 125 bar but this spill hole the fuel is easier to come out because over the spill hole the pressure is less so what will happen no more diesel will pass on to the fuel injector nozzle now rest of the diesel will come out from the means rest of the stroke corresponds to coming out the diesel from this spill hole itself it is like this so rest amount the stroke this much is the left stroke the, what will happen diesel will not go uh, through the uh, fuel injector nozzle but it will pass out from this spill hole okay now over here i am taking two case the plunger barrel system a and plunger barrel system b now in the two systems there is a difference that over here suppose this is a plunger but in the case b what is happening that plunger is rotated you can see that the opening of this 
uh, groove is over here but in case i rotate it toward right hand side now opening is over here you can compare the two cases now in this case what is happening the distance between the spill hole and this groove is more compared to that of distance between the spill hole corresponding to case b and this uh, groove okay now in case both the plungers are rising up to make the uh, diesel to flow through the injector nozzle what would happen that the spill hole for case b will match to this groove earlier compared to that of the case a so what will happen that uh, the uh, further stroke for case b would be squirting out of diesel because when diesel will start squirting out from this spill hole no more diesel will pass on to fuel injector nozzle but for this case since the spill hole is not uh, has yet not matched with the groove so it will keep on um, the fuel to flow toward the injector nozzle now with further movement now the spill hole matches with the groove for the case a and now the squirting of diesel takes place from the spill hole so for this case case b more amount of stroke is associated with coming out of diesel from this spill hole compared to that of case a so this is what the uh, principle of controlling the amount of diesel to pass through the fuel injector nozzle obviously what would happen that in the case b for case b in which this plunger is turned less amount of diesel will pass on to the fuel injector nozzle and more amount will pass out through this spill hole but for this case a uh, more amount of diesel because this spill hole uh, matches the groove later compared to that of this case b so more amount of diesel will pass through the injector nozzle and less amount will squirt it outside this is this is what the principle of controlling the uh, amount of diesel um, uh, going inside the combustion chamber of diesel engine cylinder now the, this is the entire picture so what happens that to control the speed we have to turn this plunger according to requirement so over here i am showing the complete diagram so over here there is a plunger which is inside the barrel this is the inlet valve this is the outlet valve so at the end of plunger you can see that there is a design of a pinion rack and pinion system you might be knowing about this that in case this rack teeth is matched with the teeth of this pinion and moved to and fro then what would happen this plunger can be rotated accordingly so that the this height of the distance of this spill hole and this group can be adjusted in case this distance is more what will happen L more amount of fuel will flow toward injector nozzle and less amount will be squirted out from the spill hole and in case the distance between this spill hole and this groove cut is less then less amount of fuel will pass on to the injector nozzle and more amount will be squirted outside now you uh, might have question in your mind that what happens with that squirted diesel so in it is uh, the designing is of such type that there is a housing whatever amount of diesel which is squirted out from this fill hole is required back to this inlet valve itself and the movement of this plunger to and fro uh, between the two extremities top dead center and bottom dead center is controlled by this cam you can see this is the cam and this is the push rod so in case this cam rotates so it makes the plunger to move up and down and the rotation of this cam is synchronized with the rotation of crankshaft of the diesel engine and accordingly synchronized so that exactly on time the diesel can be injected through the fuel injector nozzle so hope you would have understood the uh, working of this fuel injector nozzle jerk type fuel injector nozzle and how the amount of diesel is controlled just by turning the plunger inside the barrel toward clockwise or anti clockwise direction so that the distance between the spill hole and this groove can be adjusted according to requirement so that more amount of fuel can pass through the injector nozzle for high speed or in case the height is lessened the distance between spill hole and this group is lessened then less amount of fuel will pass to the injector nozzle so in case less fuel goes to the injector nozzle speed becomes less and in case high amount of fuel goes to the injector nozzle then speed becomes high thank you